Well, we are counting down the days to September and the expected return of Broadway. But in the meantime, you can still catch plenty of top Broadway stars on TV. Stars like two-time Tony winner Sutton Foster. Right, Paul? That's right, Tamsin. The seventh and final season of Younger is here, now streaming on Paramount Plus. And Sutton Foster stars as Liza. We talked about her character, her personal journey during the show, and how excited she is to get back to the Broadway stage. Will you marry me? Oh my God. Did she say yes? Are they engaged? I just heard the news. I'm impressed that Chaz was so romantic. <laughs> Something like that. What are fans in for when they start watching the new season? Um, they are in for more of younger fabulousness. I think this is like Liza's most authentic season. Um, she's not settling, she's not compromising. She's really um, like trailblazing at work and like getting back to like, she's like inventive and inspiring, I think. It, it really is, she's like super more uh, more career focused, although yes, there's romance because it's young. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's exciting, it's, it's her and Kelsey kind of, um, you know, kicking ass, so it's, it's cool. You know, obviously the whole show started with a lie and you know, the name comes from that lie. She lied to get a job, but her journey has really taken her to so many amazing places. What's it like to look at that whole journey now that you're at the end of it? It's wild, you know? Like, I feel like her authentic self has been like emerging. I mean, I think she's always been her authentic self. It's just she's had to like, had this other conceit to kind of be seen. And, um, and now this season she's seen, you know? She's seen, which I think is really beautiful. And, and like, I mean, you've, you've known me for a really long time, but I feel like so much of like my life too has like been parallel with Liza, like just like a whole new chapter of my own life. It's been like this really interesting journey that we've I've been on with this character. Now your name has been on a Broadway marquee for about seven months. It's really <laughs> big. It's up there at the Winter Garden Theater. Uh, I still what haven't are you seen it in person? I'm like you haven't seen it? Oh my god. I have. It's amazing. <laughs> What are you most looking forward to about finally getting on that stage with Mr. Hugh Jackman in The Music Man later this year? Um, well, more importantly, I think I'm, I'm really excited to be sitting in an audience again and watching theater. I miss it yeah. so much. It's part of why I love living in New York City. It's, I mean, it's part of who I, it's like who I am. Um, so I cannot wait to be an audience member again. And I, I'm really looking forward to, oh, man, Hugh and I have um, rehearsed. We've done some. We, we we had some. We had about two weeks of like rehearsal in September. Yeah. Masks and you know, te you know, separate tables and and it was just the two of us. And even just being in a room again and creating was um, so exciting. Um, I I can't wait to be able to. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking about it. I was like, I'll never take. Um, I'll never take the stage for granted again, you know, like I never, I never will. So I'm like, really, it'll be very overwhelming and beautiful and um, um, hopefully magical. We'll, we'll, I, I can't wait.